Okay, so I'll be discussing your uh, activity for for chapter 2 or for week number 2. Actually, it uh, medyo na delay lang ng konti to. Uh, anyway, I'll be discussing it today. Um, this this discussion also comprises with an activity. So, ibig sabihin, while I'm doing this, I'll be providing you a file. And uh, as you go along, yun yung susundin natin and then you're going to recreate the file. As I recreated on the demonstration, okay? Uh, you may do the same or you may explore other uh, parameters of, of the file no, later on. <clears throat> it's up to you, but but then um, the same application will do, no? Sabihin, parehas lang ng gagawin. Um, the, the approach, the lights, yung mga ganon, uh, kayo yung, yung scattered ng light na sa inyo na kung paano. So I, I'm, I am currently opening the Autodesk Maya. Okay. So, laging unang-una natin ginagawa, di ba? Chine-check muna natin yung interface. I could I could change this muna to... Mm -hmm. Where's my... Okay, nag-along pa siya. Workspace. To classic. I could I could change it to classic. Ito kasi yung parang dito ako nasanay. Pero, again, no? nasa sa inyo yan kung, kung whether you, you select you used to classic or standard nasa sa inyo. And then, always, no, sa-set tayo ng project kung nasaan yung uh, file natin. So, in my case, dito siya sa desktop under subjects, lights and effects. So, this is the reference file. Okay, isa-set ko lang siya. So, that pagka nag-open ako, okay, lagi ako mapupunta doon. Yung drop-off ko laging na doon. Okay? So, our topic today is about volumetric light in Arnold. So, what we're going to do is we are going to touch up. When we say volumetric light, parang ano to, uh, with, with the use of, of spotlight, no? Okay. Uh, parang effects in, in spotlight, no? Okay, so I'll be demonstrating paano, no? Kung paano. Okay, so let's start. <clears throat> Ito yung scene na gagamitin natin. So, yung stage. No? So, it's like, siguro may nagpa-perform dito, then tatapatan natin siya ng stop, uh, spotlight, and then, yun. No? We we're, were going to create a, a, a dramatic scene for this no? using using a spotlight. So, okay. Now, you will be using stage. No? Uh, that Maya. Okay, so open lang natin, I think. Naka-set na ako dito eh. Kasi, sinet ko na kanina dun sa set project, no? So, kapag ka nandun na siya, ito siya, automatic makikita ko na siya dun. So, yung save ko lang. And then, yan. Oh, error line 0, error reading file 0. So, just just ignore the the error notification. Okay lang yan. Okay. So, here, I already have the the stage, no? So, yan na yun. So, I could, I could switch it. I could see the difference uh, view. Pero, as of the moment, ito, wala yung lights, no? Walang lights yet. Uh, para mapatunayan natin yan, we could, we could render the current frame here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, walang lights kasi walang... Uh, uh, madilim kasi walang lights. Now, you can switch to Maya software para makita mo lang yung parang render niya, ganyan, no? Pero yung actual scene, without the application of light pa rin to, no? Pero kasi ang, ang target natin dito is to create a dramatic, it's like mukhang clay, no? So, hindi natin kailangan yung ganitong klase ng uh, texture. So, what we we need to have is yung Maya, ay uh, yung, yung, yung Arnold, do, 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 the, do the tricks in, in, in creating yung lights, no? Okay, so let's follow the presentation. So I, I already prepared the instruction on the PowerPoint presentation. All you have to do is to follow the instruction. So, una natin gagawin is to create a standard spotlight lang. And then, you may scale the spotlight to be visible kasi medyo maliit yan. So, paano ba yun? <clears throat> So, we may use this create. Okay, under lights. We could snap this. Pwede natin itong snap and para okay, pwede natin siyang dalhin dito. 
and then we could do yung spot okay so tinik ko na yon nandun na yon okay nandun na yon makikita nyo na yun doon uh, pagkaklinik natin natabunan lang siya you could activate the W para makita siya Okay, according sa uh, uh, instruction ko dito, we may resize para makita natin yung spotlight, no? So here, I am currently resizing it, ayan. Just resizing it para medyo visible kasi hindi siya visible eh. It will not actually affect the ano, the spot yung ilaw niya. Hindi naman makaka-pair to to. So regardless yung size ng itsura ng spotlight natin, hindi naman makaka-pair to. So it's okay. So, yeah, I think this is better yung ganyan kaliit, no? Okay. Next. <clears throat> Now, we may manipulate uh, the spotlight using uh, manipulation, manipulator tool. So, saan natin makikita yon? Under transform, transform tools, show manipulating, manipulator tool. Okay, so, tignan natin how here. Um, ang spotlight kasi dalawa kasi yung ano niya eh. May dalawang ano yan eh. May dalawang control, no? Pwede mo makontrol. Yung isa, kung saan tatama yung light, tapos yung actual na spot, ito. Okay? So, under where's that? Where's that? I-click natin ito. I mean, where's the transform? Di ko makita. Uh, where's that? Where's the, where's the transform? Di ko siya makita. Uh, uh, modify. Transformation tool, this one, no? Under modify pala, mali yung presentation ko. Uh, okay. Transformation tool, show manipulator tool, this one. Ayan. So here, ayan, we could, we could do this, ayan. Ang ginagawa natin dito is eto, yung mismong tinatamaan ng spotlight or yung yung kung saan lalapag yung ilaw, no? Kung saan lalapag yung ilaw. Yan yung isa sa mga good thing with with the manipulator tool, no? Ayan, you could hindi mo to igagalaw, eto lang, no? Tatama na siya, no? Hindi natin nakikita kung ano tinatamaan ng spotlight. We could we could click this, no? Use light para makikita natin kung anong tinatamaan ng spotlight natin yan. So, ayan o. Oh, yung using manipulator tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could use the other view para mas ano, no? Mas mas accurate yung pag ano natin. Like, for example, this one. We could use this. Okay. So, ayan. Okay. Tapos, pwede mo rin actually yan itong manipulator tool. Yan. Okay. So, pwede mong ganyan. Yan. So, it's up to you. No? Kung paano. As long as yung target natin dito is medyo visible yung yung area. No? Yung sa background naman, okay lang kahit wala yun. Eh, no? Okay. Okay. Try to group the object and add layer lock. So, paano ba yan? Here, siguro, ang gagawin natin dito. Mm -hmm. Under window, gamit tayo outliner. No? Mm -hmm. I-ano natin to Ma-extend. Uh -huh. Up to here. So, siguro, etong mga to para hindi natin siya magalaw. Kasi ang gagawin lang naman natin is yung mismong spotlight lang eh. The rest, wala naman tayong gagawin. So, etong mga to, uh, i-group natin. 
we could we could create a group for this uh, nawala hmm. is that select edit and, and that group okay so this is all okay so yan ginawa ko siyang all and then here I could add layer create layer from the selected this one and then I could just simply lock this yeah para hindi na natin siya maseselect just like that no yeah no so hindi na natin siya maseselect okay hindi na natin siya accidentally maseselect ang maseselect na lang natin here is merely lights okay ayan so we we'll already group the object and then layer lock so ginawa na natin yon Okay, next is adjust the position as the same as this. So, in-adjust ko naman na I think the same as this image. So, yan, no? I-achieve lang natin yung kamukha na ito. Ayan, no? Okay, so, hindi na muna natin kailangan si outliner. So, tanggalin na muna natin. Again, no? Pwede nyo i-move yan, ganyan, to create more. No? Kung gusto natin nakikita edge, pero I don't think maganda. So, okay na siguro to. Okay? And then, we could adjust the penumbra and then the, ang the angle cone para uh, medyo parang uh, parang shallow, no? Parang medyo malambot yung gilid. Kasi dito, look at this. Uh -huh. Look at this, no? Matigas yung parang gilid niya. It's like sobrang ano, walang walang decay no that's the, that's the term walang decay so we could adjust the penumbra of this okay under attribute okay so we could mm -hmm. this one the penumbra yeah. and we could we could adjust it no pwede kasi nating palitan tong cone angle like this tapos we could adjust the penumbra so, puro merely estimation ako, no? Puro merely estimation. Pero, syempre, nasa sa inyo yan kung kung paano nyo gagawin yung sa inyo. Pero in my case, ano lang naman ako eh. Uh, Ini-estimate ko lang. So, yan. So, still selected ako dun sa ano. Okay. So, but then here, I, I put yung mga ano yung mga uh, numbers like for example 30 then 4 ayan no pwedeng cone angle ko 30 pwede ko naman sundan din yun tapos pinunta ko 4 ayan no pero you could play you could play pa rin naman dun sa sa gusto nating itsura ng ano natin so ayan. kasi sometimes uh Depende yan sa paglalapag mo ng angle ng ano ng ng manipulator dito, no? Okay? So, next. This time yung volumetric uh, light na, ah, ah, yung volumetric shadow na yung lalagay natin. So, adding volumetric shadow. Okay. So, go to render settings. And then, under rendering tab, okay, environment, atmosphere, atmosphere, volume. So, ganito siya. Pero, tignan muna natin yung itsura nung, ano natin, no? Okay, so, yeah, we could, we could, we could, ano, magiging ano pa rin to, eh. Uh, ma, malabo, no? Ma, ano, kasi yung, yung intensity niya, tataasan natin to, eh. I think since naka Arnold kasi siya, medyo dapat malakas yung intensity. Like for example, just like this. Pero pag uh, na-render mo sa Arnold dyan, medyo ano yan. Medyo malabo pa nga. Okay. Let's see. Okay.
Ayan, tignan nyo. No? Doon pa lang lumabas yung ano, nasa 4,000 na ako. Anyway, uh, if this works for me, medyo tignan nyo rin sa inyo if ganyan din yung lalabas. No? Mm -hmm. Kasi sa, sa ibang version kasi meron siyang decay. Okay. Ito. No? Oh, oh, pwede natin gamitan to Quadratic. Yan. Uh, Naka 4,000 ako na. Okay, tingnan natin if this works. Ayan. Okay, nakikita nyo may shadow ng konti. Ayan. No? Pero pwede nyo na mababaan yan, syempre. Let's say 3,000. Maybe 3,000. Okay. Ayan, matatansya nyo siya. Tatansya yun nyo nga lang. Okay, dun sa intensity. Kagaya nga na sinabi ko. Okay. Now, Let's add volumetric shadow. So, add. Go to rendering settings. Okay. So, puto tayo dito. Rendering settings. Oh, yeah. Saan lang ito yun? Okay. Lumatabo lang dito sa gilid ko. Okay. Then, under Arnold Renderer. Okay. Environment. Under here, okay, under atmosphere, okay, you can select atmosphere volume, this one. Okay, Ma mapapansin nyo nag-iiba to, no, yan, nagkakaroon ng calculation, okay. So, here, ito, ngayon na siya, nagkaroon na siya dito, okay. Under that, okay, pwede nyo nang palitan yung density attenuation no tignan natin kung ano ba yung mga yan okay ang ang ginagawa kasi natin para magkakaroon tayo ng smoky effect dun sa spotlight natin no that is uh, the the yung yung nilagay nating volumetric okay so let's let's have this open my okay here Pwede na natin minimize muna yun. Let's try to, ano na lang yung nandito. So, let's say the density is 0.019. Okay. Pwede natin gawin yung nandito sa ginawa ko nung una. And then the attenuation is 110. You can do that. Zero. You can do one one zero. Okay, so yeah, no. So we can do this. Notice, no? Yeah, nagkakaroon na ng parang no. Kung mapapansin natin ano to, yun yung parang edge nung ano kasi kanina. So, pwede nating i-adjust naman yan. Pwede nyo i-adjust yan. Okay, so yeah, no? Pwede nyo taasan yung intensity. Okay. So, just test it. No? Ito test test nyo lang naman yan. Ayan. Tinaasan natin yung density. Naging ganyan yung itsura niya. So, the the greater, the, 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 the lesser the density is parang hindi, hindi masyadong kinakain yung image natin. So, ayan. Ano naman tong ano naman tong uh, attenuation so try natin again yan para makita natin anong effect niya Okay so mapapansin niyo parang lines lines niya And then we could we could do the change color pwede yung palitan din yung kulay niyan Okay pwede niyo ring palitan yung attenuation lights no so, try natin. Let's say, mm -hmm. somewhere ganito. Oh, yeah. Oops, di na palit. Something parang yellow, no? Parang yellow. Tignan natin magiging effect niya. Okay. And then let's try to change the color also. 
here. Up here. Ayan, no? So, nag-iiba. So, parang, let's say, for example, gusto natin na medyo maano yung ano natin. Ayan, we could do that. Okay? Uh-huh. Oops, tumaka siya. Okay, so balik lang natin siya sa white para medyo maayos yung itsura niya. Okay. Now, let's proceed, no? Ayan, no? So, instead na yun yung palitan natin ng kulay, uh, hindi minsan kasi nagtatake effect like yung ginawa natin kaninang isa, no? Uh, you could change the color actually of of the spotlight itself. Pwede naman yun, no? So, just like this, no? pwede mong palitan yung mismong color ng spotlight. Make sure that the spotlight is selected. Ayan. Okay. So, ganyan natin para makita natin na maayos. You could change the color. Ayan. And kung gusto talaga natin, at least to, ayan, ano siya, uh, real time natin nakikita. Okay, so let's say ganyan, ginanyan natin. Palitawin ko na nga lang yung outliner para hindi ako nahihirapan. Select ko na lang siya lagi dito. Ayan na, ginaganyan ko na lang. Okay, so here. Ayan, no? Kung ano yung nakikita natin na actual, ganun din yung nakikita natin here. Okay, so pwede natin kayuan. Ganyan. Okay, just like that, no? Parang dramatic yung itsura nung scene, no? Okay. So, next is add gobo. Ano naman tong gobo na to, okay? So, it's like light filter no na parang effect nung nung ano natin ng spotlight natin um when we say gobo parang ano yan eh parang uh, ano ba kasi sa tawag sa sa mga ano yun eh church eh yung mga parang acetate parang ganun yung datingan niya okay so paano yon how are we going to add gobo okay so, under Arnold Light, Light Filter Add Gobo. Check ko nga muna ito. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's You could change din kasi yung ano niya. Where's that? Okay. Okay. Anyway, hindi ko siya ma-ano. Ma 
Okay. So, mag-add na tayo ng Gobo. Okay. So, Arnold. Under Arnold here. Let's add. Gobo. Add. Okay. So. Ayan. So, double click lang natin yun. And then, we could do this. Check natin yung effect yung global natin. Okay, wala pa. We could do Pwede mm -hmm. natin i-disconnect mo na ito Add ulit tayo Add Ah, but go before kasi yun Disconnect na Okay, so here under slide map, click lang natin ito, and then here, we could do bulge, naklik ko na, okay, so since naklik ko na siya, ayan, it would parang, ayan o, look at the effects nung parang ano natin, so pwede naman nating tanggalin yan, okay, Pwede natin tanggalin yan. Okay. So, balikan nyo lang tong light mo. This one. Spotlight mo yan. Ayan. Tapos, double click mo lang to. Ayan. Tapos, dun sa slide map mo. Ayan. Ito. Babalik sya dyan. Okay, pwede mo nang i-delete din pala. Delete mo na lang para yun, disconnect. Click mo yun, tapos disconnect. Then, add ka na lang ng bago. Yan. Tapos, yan. And then, slide map. Try the others. Let's say, pwedeng fractal, pwedeng grid. Try natin to fractal. Okay. So, fractal parang ano to eh. Crack, crack. Yan. Yan. No? So that's it. Not so ganun ganun lang yung paggawa nung ano natin. Uh, uh scenery, no, nung parang ano. So ganito yung gagawin natin. So ganito yung gagayahin natin. All we have to do is to just follow the instruction and the video. Uh, try natin no, laruin natin. So pinakita ko lang yung basic ha. Pinakita ko lang yung basic. Pero kayo Uh, pwede nating laruin. You could do triple spotlight, okay? Dalawang spotlight, tatlong spotlight. O kaya hindi lang sa isang point na ano. So ganun yung gagawin natin, no? So your activity is to create a scenery for that stage. Hindi ibig sabihin ganito, ganito, ganito yung gagawin natin. You could do series of spotlight like dalawa, tatlo, apat, nasa sa inyo kung ano yung mga focus ng spotlights niyo. Okay? So that ends our presentation for today, no? Uh, if you have questions, drop a message on the group. All right, thank you.